you want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife, is she playing cat and mouse with the kids? Something called Celebrating the Soaps, no, me neither, runs with an article asking the question, is Harry's wife playing a game of cat and mouse with her kids and the royal family? Mayor Jimenez has written an article about this which bears examination. At this point, she states, it really doesn't matter what Harry's wife says or does because it seems like she's going to get criticised for her actions, no matter what. While pausing there, whose fault is that? Harry's wife. You see, if you behave in an inconsistent way, if you tell lies, which are easily discoverable, if you rewrite your history in a way that's easily discoverable, for instance, claiming that you single-handedly forced Procter & Gamble to change their campaign when the evidence demonstrates it was a class project, or when you claim that you went and ate noodles naked with your mother in a naked Korean spa when there's no evidence to show that your mother was around at the time, and furthermore, that what you've said corresponds with a cartoon television programme, you're going to get caught out. If you keep saying unpleasant things about your in-laws, people aren't going to be overly impressed. Even if what you're saying is right, which of course invariably it isn't, but even if it's correct, people are going to tire at such indiscretions. You don't air your dirty laundry in public. You sort it out privately. Of course, Harry's wife can never, ever accept criticism. No narcissist can. It's unjustified inappropriate. Of course, narcissists vary in the way that they deal with criticism, which of course is challenge fuel, as you know from my work. Some will turn around and punch you in the face. Others will rage at you. Others will burst into tears and ask you why being such a big bad meanie. Others will demonstrate that you're incorrect and deal with you in a in a particular way. Others might utilize humor to demonstrate that your criticism has no basis. Others might well be able to construct a plausible argument to demonstrate that your criticism is unfounded. Others might just give you an arched eyebrow to convey a message of, you've made a mistake in what you've just said. You better watch out. But anyway, the fact is, Harry's wife will face this criticism. This article tells us that Royal Family News says that the Duchess of Sussex is now getting slammed for apparently playing a game of cat and mouse with her two children, Archie and Lilibet. Well, of course, it is entirely conceivable that she would do so. After all, children are just pawns to the narcissist, there to be utilised to the narcissist's prime aims, little stepping stones to enable the narcissist to get to where they want to, invariably being used to manipulate other people in the fuel matrix, chief of which, of course, is the former intimate partner primary source, if such a scenario exists. As many royal fans know by now, states the article, Prince Harry has announced that he will be travelling to London for King Charles's coronation. However, Harry's wife will be staying behind with the couple's two children, Archie and Lilibet, in California. Some critics believe that the Sussexes might be doing King Charles and the rest of the royal family a disservice by keeping their children behind and not giving anyone an opportunity to see them. In fact, some are even accusing Harry's wife of playing a cat-and-mouse game with the royals and her kids. Royal correspondent Simon Vigar said that Harry's wife has been acting this way ever since her son Archie was born. He recalled, What was really strange was that we, the press, the world, were lied to about when their baby was born. We didn't know where it was born. We were told Harry's wife had gone into labour, and then there was a baby. And to have this game of cat and mouse with the media, and I believe their own officials, about where the baby was being born, was odd. Indeed, Mr Vigar, it may well appear that at first blush, but once you understand what you're dealing with, a narcissist, it makes perfect sense. Children are just a tool to the narcissist, little mirrors, there to be utilised to triangulate with other people. 
there to cause reactions, to be able to cause fuel to be drawn. The narcissist doesn't truly care about the children, doesn't love them. They're there to be used. And sometimes that means using them to basically get at other people, to offer the prospect of being able to see them and then whisking it away, making arrangements, saying, yes, we'll come with the kids and then turning up without them. Where are they? asked the disappointed grandparent. What do you mean? Where are the children you said they were coming? No, I didn't. Denial, nullification of threat to control, disappointment and recriminations all round. Guilt-tripping people for not coming and seeing the children, for not accommodating them. Bleating on about the fact of where are their titles. Now, whether or not Harry's wife is truly playing a game with the media remains to be seen. But it looks like Archie and Lilibet, this article tells us, will be spending the weekend of the coronation at home and away from their father, Prince Harry. Is the case that she's playing cat and mouse with her kids and the royal family? Undoubtedly, it is the case. She believes, driven by her narcissism, that she's protecting her children from the glare of publicity, that once again it's the old privacy card that's being played. Yet, of course... They're wheeled out, here and there, for the purposes of photo shoots and use within the Shitflix documentary. The reason, and I think I've told you this before, that we didn't really see that much of them, was that it was quite clear that Harry's wife must have signed some exclusivity clause with Shitflix to ensure that they were the ones that got the most glances at Archie and Lilibet. And thus, there will have been some agreement that we can put something out at Christmas. We might show a back of the head at once in a while. But the majority of the photographs and footage has to be saved for shit flicks. The other royals show their children here and there, celebrating with lovely photographs, lovely family portraits, first day at school, that kind of thing. They don't do so to merch them. And the press recognises that here's, here's your... First day of school photograph, now fuck off and leave us alone. And they do. But Harry's wife thinks that she's clever. She thinks that she's cleverer than the massive media machine. She thinks that she, driven of course by her narcissism, is the puppeteer. And to an extent that's true. She does try to puppet people. And she has moderate success given her mid-range narcissism. But she always gets that control, often though by having to run away or by smearing rather than the actual abilities of direct control over them. But she is playing a game of cat and mouse, utilising the children, which is demonstrative of what she doesn't really feel for them, showing that there isn't any emotional empathy for them, that she doesn't actually love them, that she's quite content to use them as pawns in her machinations with both the press. Do you want to see them? Tough, you can't. With the royal family, do you want to see them? Tough, you can't utilising them for the purposes of merchandising, monetizing them. How heartless is that to treat your child in such a way, but entirely commensurate with the mindset of the narcissist? I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>